Okay, boys, girls, uh, chapter eight, To the Rats, The Tale of Despero. I'll put the links on how to get to this website in the uh, uh, comments. The Mouse Council, 13 honored mice and one most very honored head mouse, heeded the call of Lester's drum and gathered in a small secret hole off King Philip's throne room. The 14 mice sat around a piece of wood balanced on spools of thread and listened in horror while Despero's father related the story of what Furlow had seen. At the foot of the king, said Lester, her, her finger right on top of his head, said Lester. He, he was looking up at her and it was not in fear. The mouse council members listened with their mouths open. They listened with their whiskers drooping and their ears flat against their heads. They listened in dismay and outrage and fear. When Lester finished, there was a silence, dismal and deep. Something, intoned the most very honored head mouse, is wrong with your son. He is not well. This goes beyond his fevers, beyond his large ears and his lack of growth. He is deeply disturbed. His behavior endangers us all. Humans cannot be trusted. We know this to be an undisputable fact. A mouse who consorts with humans? A mouse who would sit right at the foot of a man? A mouse who would allow a human to touch him? And here, the entire mouse council indulged in a collective shiver of disgust. Cannot be trusted. This, that, is the way of the world, our world. Fellow mice, it is my most fervent hope that Despero has not spoken to these humans. But obviously, we can assume nothing. And this is a time to act, not wonder. Lester nodded his head in agreement and the twelve other members of the Mouse Council nodded their heads, too. We have no choice, said the Head Mouse. He must go to the dungeon! He pounded his fisted paw on the table. He must go to the rats immediately! That was an extra pound because I felt like it. Members of the council, I will now ask you to vote those in favor of Despero being sent to the John dungeon, say aye. There was a chorus of sad eyes. Those opposed say nay. Silence reigned in the room. The only noise came from Lester. He was crying. And 13 mice, ashamed for Lester, looked away. Reader, can you imagine your own father not voting against you being sent into a dungeon full of rats? Can you imagine him not saying one word in your defense. Despero's father wept, and the most very honored head mouse beat his paw against the table again and said, Despero Tilling, 
will appear before the mouse community. He will hear of his sins. He will be given a chance to deny them. If he does not deny them, he will be allowed to renounce them so that he may go to the dungeon with a pure heart. Despero Tilling is hereby called to sit with the Mouse Council. At least Lester had the decency to work. To, to, uh, let me try to start again. At least Lester had the decency to weep at his act of perfidy. Reader, do you know what perfidy means? I have a feeling you do, based on the little scene that has just unfolded here. But you should look up the word in your dictionary, just to be sure. <laughs>